Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, sorry about that, but I had some problems here with my internet connection, so I'm back. Okay, uh, I remember that I was asking you if you remember what we studied about yesterday's class. Yes? We studied about a question in simple fashion. Okay. Excellent. Uh, how do we make yes no questions? We use the verb in past, subject plus complement. Okay, excellent. So if I ask, um, were you in classes yesterday morning? I wasn't in class. I wasn't. Okay, I no, wasn't. you weren't. Okay. Um, also, I remember that we studied how to make information questions, right? With information questions, we said that we are going to begin with the WH word, then the verb to be in simple past, plus the subject, and a complement, and a question mark, okay? So if I ask, how was your day? What is, what is it going to be your answer? Tell me. My day, it was very, very good because I was here in my house and I was uh, uh, doing, I did many things. I ironed them. Also, I cleaned the house, cleaned the bathroom, but I like to do it. I like oh. to do this thing. Excellent. Thank you. So you, you were at home resting. Perfect. Okay. And how about the others? Yes. My day was intense. Okay. And tell us, what did you do? Uh, uh, this, this day was my first day in a new job. Oh, really? And how was it? Very intense. <laughs> very, very intense. <laughs> Okay, and Muy did you intenso. like it? <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, I am, uh, 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 but, uh, how do you, how do you say un poco? A little. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, a little uh, cansado, ah. <laughs> pero, pero contento. Okay, excellent. Yeah, when you start in a new place, sometimes can be a little bit difficult for your, for us to get to know the other people. Um, but it's really nice also. Yes. Okay, excellent. How about the <laughs> others? I was working all day. You were working all day? Yeah, all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I see. So my day was a little boring. Ah, okay. <laughs> So you said that your day was a little bit boring. Okay. Yeah. I see. What about the others? Tell and me how was how it? about you, teacher? <laughs> uh, because classes, well, I was teaching already. I went to the place that I used to work before everything, the, well, all the pandemic started. 
So I went there on Tuesday, but classes were put up. So I was at home uh, taking care of my baby, cooking, sleeping, um, also working from home for the classes, um, sleeping again. So it's been a really nice day. <laughs> Good. Yes. Good. <laughs> yes, it has its advantages and disadvantages, but I really like it. You enjoy the, your job, so I, I think do. that is important. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I definitely do it. Okay. And tell us, Sara, how was your day? Okay, so probably she cannot hear us. Um, how about you, Brian? Okay. But the others, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. So I don't know what has happened, but well, probably they cannot hear me. And how about you, Brenda? Hello, teacher. Hi, Brenda, how was your day? No sé, a mí está este, casi como que se me está cortando, no sé si es mi internet. Ok, sí, yo necesito que me, que me digan, ¿verdad? Porque yo no sé tampoco si será de mi parte, porque a veces I can hear sí. You clearly. Ok, thank you. Yes, I can hear you. Ok. Me too. I can hear you, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ya, sí, ya, ya, ya soy un poco más calmada, que no soy yo. Ok, but that's ok, Brenda. Thank you for letting us know. Ok, um, as I was saying to you at the beginning, before I had that problem, um, was that basically today is our last day that we are going to be having classes because tomorrow we are having the final exam, right? So something that we are going to be talking today it's about the WH questions that we have using the auxiliary C and also was and where. That's something that we already studied, but we are going to make a review of it and then we are going to be practicing, okay? So I'm going to share the information with you. And We are going to watch the video, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. It was and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? 
Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that we need to add the subject, you. Next we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so there we have the video about well questions using did and questions using was or were. So now, I need you to tell me if you have any question or if that was clear for you. To me, everything is clear, teacher. Okay, thank you. Me too, teacher. Okay. So I have a question. What's the difference or when am I going to use was and when am I going to use did? You are going to use was and where when is some similar relation with the verb to be, but is in verb to be, is the other verb you must use did. 
Okay, thank you. Excellent. Uh, so, can you give me some examples, please? Was you in the university in um, 1999, for example? And the other, did you study in 99? Okay. So, here we go. Okay, can you repeat the first question one more time, please? Yes. Was, and were you, ah, did you okay. study? Sorry. <laughs> were you, um, I, were you, were you a student? Yeah, that's right. Were you a student in 99? A student in 99, like oh, this? Oh, 90, no, no, I'm sorry. 1990, ah. 1990, okay. sorry. In 1990, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were, I, I, I think born. that I was a baby. Yeah, so. maybe. <laughs> Maybe uh, two two years. Yeah, two years it could be. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the and other the other where did you study? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so you can see here that we have the following examples. Uh, we have. A question using the verb to be in the simple past and a question using the auxiliary be. So on the first question, we have, were you a student in 1990? If you can see here, I have a student. This is a profession, something that we studied before. That when we're talking about professions, uh, medical status, relationships, etc., we are going to use the verb to be. In this case, I have a verb that is study, that means movement or action, okay? So whenever that I have a verb that denotes movement or action, I'm going to use the auxiliary be, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to be using the verb to be, okay? Solo para aclarar, ¿verdad? Si tenemos o vemos que acá estamos haciendo uso de lo, de lo que es el verbo to be, es decir, si hablo de una profesión, de un estado civil, o de los que vimos que tiene, ¿verdad? Nosotros sabemos que vamos a usar el verbo to be. Ya en cambio, si yo estoy hablando de un verbo que me muestra acción o movimiento, utilizo lo que es el auxiliar be. Siempre que estemos hablando en pasado simple, ¿ok? Uh, so if I answer this question, where did you study? Uh, for example, where did you study high school? Okay. What is your answer going to be, Jaime? Jaime? Sorry, my bad. Uh, were you a student in high school? Okay. Ah, sorry. No, but I need your answer for this question. Ah, okay. Where did you study high school? Okay. I I study. I was study in in. Uh, uh, Santa Lucia School, for example. Okay, thank you. Um, how about you, Alex? Oh, you studied you in INSA. In? Insa. Insa, like this? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. How about you, Sarita? I 
I was studying in Enco. Oh, really? The one that is in San Jacinto? Yes. Ah, my, my, my dad studied there too. De veras. Yes. Ah. But he studied there uh, around, let me see, 1980 something, I think. A long time ago. Ah. I I study in 1990 in 90 in the 90 1990 Ah I see okay wow Okay that's really good to know Okay and how about you Brian I was studying in Center School of Tebecoyo in the pollo. Okay. And one more. Let me see. Um, Josue Mauricio. Okay. So, Karen, can you tell us, please? I study in Liceo Getsemaní. With G or J? G. Like this? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. I need you to take a look to the answers that you have given me and tell me which answers are correct and which ones are incorrect and why. Alex's answer is correct and also Karen's answer because it's the past of, uh, of uh, a verb of study. It's not, uh, we, we don't have to use was aware because we don't have used where to be. Ah, okay, thank you, yes. I really need you to pay attention to this, to what Graciela said. Um, if you can see, the question that we have is this. Where did you study high school? If you can see, I have the auxiliary D and I have a verb here that is study. So if I have a verb like this, and if I have this auxiliary, the verb that I'm going to be using in the answer is going to be in its simple past form. In this case, studied in INSA and studied in Liceo Getsemani are correct. Okay, what about was study? Why are they incorrect? The, there because. are two verbs. Okay, we have two verbs. Okay, yes, and, and if I could be... It, it's not an action. Okay, it's not an action. Okay. Si, ah. si yo vengo y lo traduzco así literalmente, es como que yo les dijera, yo, yo era estudiar en Santa Lucia School. Okay, o yo, yo fui... Estudiar en ENCO. Entonces acá tengo lo que son dos verbos. Si yo estoy usando lo que es el auxiliar D, no necesito utilizar lo que es el WAS. ¿Ok? Voy a utilizar el verbo que está acá en la pregunta, pero I'm going to use it in its past form. ¿Ok? ¿Es that clear for you? Thank you, teacher. You're yes, welcome. Teacher. Okay. So what about the next question or the first question we have? Were you a student in 1990? Let me see who's going to answer. Graciela, were you a student in 1990? Yes, I was. Yes. 
Yes, I was. I was. Thank you. Um, let me see. How about you, Brenda? Were you a student in 1990? No, I No? I was. Like this? Okay. No, I wasn't. Thank you. So you can see that my, this is... My... Okay. Thank you. So that's the way that we are going to be answering these type of questions. But since you can see that this is a yes, no question, we're going to try to work with an information question, okay? Um, can you tell me, any of you, an information question using the verb to be? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, can you tell me an example of an information question using the verb to be? When was your father born? Okay. When was your father born? Uh, Brian. Yes, teacher. Can you answer that question, please? When was your father born? My father born in La Libertad. Can you repeat the, the answer, please? My father born in La Libertad. Um, okay, and is it correct, Brian? Can you tell me? No, it's the, I forget the, uh, is my father was born in La Libertad. Okay, uh, just take a look to the WH question. It says when. We're talking about time. Estamos hablando de tiempo, no de lugar. Yes, yes, my father was born in... 1964. Okay, thank you. Let's see another one. Um, Sara Martinez. When was your father born? My father was my father was born in um, one night six four. Okay, so your father was born in 1964 too? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Um, let me see. How about you, Karen? My father was born in 1966. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, also... You can tell me he was born in 1954. That's in the case of my father, right? I remember that he was born in 1954. Okay. So basically, this is the difference that we're going to have when we are using the verb to be in information questions and the auxiliary did with information questions. So I need you to tell me if you have questions or if this is clear for you.
for me it's clear teacher thank you now it's all clear <laughs> okay perfect okay so what we are going to do right now is to work in breakout rooms okay um, and i need you to make yes no questions and information questions using the verb to be and the auxiliary be okay yes okay okay uh so let's begin i'm going to send you right now and i'm going to be there listening to you okay okay I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had a problem with my with my cell phone. <laughs> sorry. So, uh, Jaime, where was your mother born? My my mother was born in in San Salvador. San Salvador. Yes. Do you live in San Salvador too? Yes, I live in San Salvador. Okay, Jaime. Brian Pinto, yes, tu turno. It's your turn, Brian. Okay. Uh, who was your first friend in school? I'm who sorry, was your you, who you was the question? Who was your first friend in school? My best friend. Yes. Uh, my best friend was her name was um, I don't remember Elmer Elmer Elmer. Okay. <laughs> How Her about name you? Or his name? I'm sorry, his name. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I'm I'm just listening to you. <laughs> yeah, I for I forgot I forgot it. Okay. It's his for a man and her for a, a girl. That, that is yeah? correct, yes. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Jaime? Where did where did you go this last week? Brian, you can answer the question if you want. Ah, uh, okay. It's just Ah. 
entonces es yes. Yes podría ser yes I am. Pero como si responde la pregunta de ser negativa, ¿verdad que sí? Yes I am o no, no I am. No, es que, espere, yo creo que, ¿qué quiere no, preguntar? I... Porque si así como la plantea de usted, dice es dónde estuviste ayer en casa. Estuviste ayer en casa. Ajá. Where? Where did? ¿Dónde estuviste? No. Entonces, lo que podemos hacer, no, puede, puede no, estar bien. No. Ajá, ¿o qué quiso poner? O oh, si llegaste a casa ayer. Ah, estuviste ayer en casa. Estuviste ayer en casa. ¿Cómo le pregunto? ¿Y cómo, oh, y cómo negativa? Como es negativa sería usando I weren't. No, no lo está... I weren't or I wasn't. Porque... Oh, I wasn't. Wasn't. Okay, so wasn't Porque or weren't? She... I wasn't. Ah, no, I wasn't. okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm listening to you. Sarita, la suya. Este, where, eh, where did you, you, eh, high school, eh, Saturday, in Saturday? No, wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, uh, Sara, sorry. Can you repeat the question one more time, please? Okay. Uh, where, where did uh, you study in high school? Where did you study on high school? You said, right? Okay, yeah. Donde estudiaste la preparatoria? Is that the question that you wanted to make? La secundaria. Eh, ¿Dónde estudiaste tu high school? Ok. Eh, 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 Sarita, Sarita Quintanilla. Yes. I studied, I studied in Enco, San Salvador. Ok. Repeat, please, Sari. I studied... Yes. In Enco in San on Enco in San Salvador. Ok. Estudió su high school en el Inco de San Salvador. Yes, Enco. Enco, perdón, Enco. Ok. Thanks. ¿Y usted, Brenda? Uh, sería I studied in Francisco Gaviria University 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 Ok, but university. that is university What about your high school? University In high school? ¿El bachillerato? Sí Allí. Sí, ahí lo estoy recibiendo. De hecho, ahorita en el último año. Okay. Okay. Está en tarea, mi Jessy, ¿verdad que sí? Ajetriada. Sí, la verdad sí. Ok.
Karen. Then Karen, where did your did your father work? Repeat, please, Graciela. Okay. Where did your father work? I I work in your your father. I'm my father. Ah, uh, he uh -huh, he worked in Excel House. Okay. In Excel, he sells cars. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Then Mauricio, where Hello. did your wife? Where did your wife work? She worked. She worked. Um, is north. In the hospital, she's a nurse. Yeah. Mm, okay. She work. Mm. And the other question. When? Okay, um, I was listening to your questions and answers and I have noticed something that we're having problems with. And I can see that, well, that we really need to pay attention just to make sure that we are answering as we are supposed to, okay? He notado en ustedes, verdad, un pequeño problema que estamos teniendo y es que no estamos poniendo atención a lo que la otra persona nos está preguntando. O sea, a veces nos preguntan, por ejemplo, ¿dónde? Y contestamos de otra forma. Este, o les preguntan, ¿qué? ¿Cómo? E, bueno, de igual manera responden de otra forma. So we need to pay attention to what the other person is asking to us so we can answer correctly, okay? So if I ask, what did you do last weekend? What is your answer going to be? I work last week in Hilo Vasco. Okay. Thank you. So we have that Graciela 
worked in Hilobasco. Okay. How about you, Jaime? What did you do last weekend? Teacher, the barrel after. Yeah, thank you. Okay, perfect. I, I, sorry, my bad. I studied in, in my house. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about you, Sarita? What did you do last weekend? I I este worked hard in San Salvador. Okay. Um, how about you, Alex? What did you do last weekend? I work. So you work too? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> On Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So sorry to hear that. How about you, Sara Martinez? What did you do last weekend? Uh, Sara, Sara. Uh, in the in the hospital on Monday. Uh, we're talking about last weekend. Estamos hablando del fin de semana pasado. ¿Qué fue lo que hizo? Sí, estuvo hospitalizado. Okay, so Sara was in, in the, the hospital. Hospital. Mm. Okay. Um, Josué Mauricio, how about you? Hello. I relax in my house okay. with my family. Okay, excellent. So you rested. Okay, excellent. Um, how about you, Brenda? What did you do last weekend? Um, I studied at home. Okay, perfect. And you, Brian? I, I play the guitar. Okay, and Karen, what did you do last weekend? And Saturday, and I stayed at home, but Sunday, I went to church. Okay, so you stayed at home on Saturday and went to church on Sunday. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, okay, so you can see that here we have the activities that you do last weekend. So we have the Graciela worked in Ilovasco. Jaime studied in his house. Sarita worked in San Salvador. Alex worked on Saturday and Sunday. Sara was in the hospital. Mauricio rested in his house with his family. Brenda studied at home. Brian played the guitar. Karen stayed at home on Saturday and went to church on Sunday. Okay, perfect. So we can see here some activities that you did last weekend. Um, okay. Is this topic clear for you or do you have questions? I don't have questions. I have to uh, to study more. Okay. I have to practice. 
yes, we need to continue practicing. And well, I can see, and I know that most of you have already finished the platform, right? Ya la mayoría de ustedes terminó lo que es la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Perfect. Teacher, yo trabajé anoche y este un ejercicio lo subí perfectamente. Cuando intenté subir dos más, ya no, ya no pude, teacher. Vaya, sí, sería de ver qué pasó, porque hasta donde tengo entendido, ¿verdad? Todo está funcionando ya con normalidad. Ok, teacher. Ok. Um, do you have questions for the topics that we studied? Or is everything clear for you? Yes, it's everything clear. Ok. In this, in my case, it's all it's all clear. Okay, excellent, Jaime. All fine. Okay, so if if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here, and tomorrow we will continue with the final exam. Okay. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you for coming and see you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, we're going to yes. have a, a classes tomorrow. Yes. Remember yes. that tomorrow on Monday Friday. the 2nd, we didn't have classes because okay. it was, what, we, we couldn't. So tomorrow okay. is the last day. Perfect. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. I see you tomorrow. Likewise.